Yeah, that says day 12, the day requires a little bit of imagination, but hey there everyone, this is Alcow, it is December 24th, uh, day 12 on the way to Christmas, I guess, of the 12 days of Christmas, uh, between, actually Saturnalia ended on the 23rd, right? It's kind of funny that the rebranded version is like a little bit later and lasts way shorter. But yes, here we are, Christmas Eve. Fusion Warrior is a name we've seen before here in the realm of the Christmas poultry. And uh, there's no letters or anything, just this bag with something and this thing, which is like, like it's not the book, even though it's kind of book shaped. I guess I'm gonna start with that, it looks like. I mean, that's what my fingers are on, so that's what we're doing. Oh, it's a disc? I wouldn't have thought. So, okay, so Mariachi Entertainment System, I guess that does not surprise me. You've mentioned them before. Echo, Echo, and Hyrule? Is that how you would say it? So it's Mariachi Zelda music, except it's like a freaking disc. <laughs> I love the design. Skulltella there, we got a guy, got, got yeah, Skulltella and a Deku. Oh, that is so cool. Like, the box art is fantastic. Um, let's see here. Can I remove this plastic without too much trouble? Uh, define too much trouble. So I don't want it, like... I know this can be pretty fragile. All right, all right, all right, all right. So you okay? So this is the front, cause then no, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slide where you get. Oh, this is so cool. This is so rad. Like just the presentation of it all. Yeah. So we got these songs. So it looks to be like. Uh, 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 Sorry, I still got a bit of a sniffly. Like, I don't want to damage it, but I don't know how to manipulate this one-handed. Yeah, it's a big old vin vinyl disc. Here we go. Oh, oh. That is so rad. The design is so cool. Oh, yeah, so this is, like, one side. And you got this. Remember, sides, A side and B side? Yeah, it comes from this. Like, that is the adventure of the term. This is so rad. This is so awesome. Uh, I do not have a turntable to play a disc like this, though, unfortunately. But, uh, I mean, just as a collector's item, this is pretty awesome. And also, I got Blue Bag. So I cut the tape, but I don't know what's in it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got, we got a little horse. There we go. Exclusive. Orange. Wait, what does orange do when he eats a shell? I don't know if I know orange, Yoshi. That does not sound reliable. Yeah. So we got... Oh, wait. Okay, so first of all, tails wrapped up and mummified in order to, you know, stay away from uh, anything around. I don't know. I'm just kind of very... Wait, so... Something. Tail is all wrapped up and mummified. That's why you need to know. What is this? So that, yeah, like, it is a uh, N64 box for Hat and Time. How does that work, though? 3D platformers are back. Accurate. What is in there? Ugh. Um, something that's clickety clackety. Okay, okay, okay. So we got buttons. Yeah, like like the these are actual power ups. That's actually pretty good. Uh, the instruction manual for the game. Sweet. Wow, that looks actually like an actual like instruction manual, which is pretty wild. And here we got. Uh, oh, this is probably a poster, right? Yeah, yeah, and hey, check it out. Appropriate. Appropriate that it is a poster from this level, too. Oh, this is really cool. That is like, like a whole thing. 
Like, is that a thing you can get? Like, a box and it comes with, like, the stuff in it? Oh. Enclosed. Yeah, okay, so you get, you get the code and you get, well, everything that I got. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Um, I don't have those digital codes. Maybe they're written on something somewhere. I'll look around, but anyways, I wouldn't want those to be, uh, on camera. I mean, I already own the game, so having the Steam code does, won't change all that much in my life. But you know what? It's fine. It's okay. <laughs> that is so cool. Everything was so rad here. Now it's like just all sprawled out in a mess and disorganized. Thank you so much, Fusion. This is so rad. Hey there, everyone. This is Alcow. It's still the 24th. That has not changed since the first part. We got seven ambushes, seven pending things, and we'll see what happens. Grace counter GM. Whoa, what is that here? Hello there, SA Jewers. On a 12th day of Christmas, you receive some bullets from hell. Well, where else would they come from? Great. Is it a game like around grazing? A refreshing and highly replayable bullet hell style shooter that wants you to play dangerously. Ride a razor's edge of life and death in this high risk, high reward, danger oriented arcade style shooting game. Really now? It's on the Switch, by the way. A lot of these games are. That's probably just smart. Alright. I mean, this looks a lot like a spaceship. Like, I don't know if you saw, but the title card had an anime girl. I guess the anime lives on the side. And it's a game based around grazing specifically. Yeah. Encourages recklessness. Hell yeah! It's back! <laughs> I guess it's... I guess it's like a second one. Yeah, GM is like a remake or like a sequel. It's GM, General Motors. Right? It's a sponsorship. I also have a giant square of my face on the tip of my ship. But yeah, like, like that's the grazing sound that you hear, where it goes like, Nyeh. like that is the accepted sound of grazing. This is very pixely in a way that I am enjoying. Well, that's just a lot of characters. Does it, does, does it make a difference? Like, I'm assuming it does, but Eden, I don't know. Shield okay. Yeah, see, that's a title card. Title screen. Box. Title something. Well, this looks super rad, though. So, yeah. So, it is a game about grazing. If you are, you know, a barnyard animal, you already have a lot of practice about this game. Ralph is back. Have a base base game. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> no funds. No time. Hey, Mralf. Uh, Mralf is the one responsible for me playing uh, Guardian Legends not long ago. Thank you, Mralf. So I know... Wait. Ah, for the awesome. I've heard of Ah game before, but not for the awesome. 82 remaster level from the original. 43. Oh, Ah. Uh, is, is it like a sequel or remake of uh, Disrespect for Gravity or whatever? That are twice as fast. That sounds scary. I don't know. It might be a different what game. Oh, what is... Scene gesture. What if the skies were barred from okay, so yeah, you are just falling. You and you have to dodge everything. Center. This looks so cool. Oh, but you got like a laser platform with score. Would you curl up into a ball and a small girl. Maybe. Or would you defy the authorities and jump? I, I probably wouldn't do that. What's that thing? It's like a big old s skeleton jellyfish. But no, yeah, like there's just something so raw about this. It is extremely simple. You are hidden down. Uh, try not to smash your being on anything solid on the way. Thumbs up, though. Wait, why is a peace sign obscene? Is it like the other way around, which would make it obscene in uh, the British Isles? Uh, maybe. Uh, but yeah, like this just looks super cool rad. And uh, it still looks rad. It's, ah, it's, it's a senseless disregard for gravity or something. 
So I don't know because they mentioned it's remastered level. So is it a remake of that game? Because that looks pretty cool. From the original. What's the original? Also, Earth, a moon, and a moon. Fancy pants shaders. Finally. Now we're talking. <laughs> okay. This is pretty rad, honestly. Well, thank you, Ralph. Um, unexpected. Just out of nowhere. Falling upon me. Suddenly and without warning. And I love it. Oh, I heard of this game. Cosmic Crown! Rao Cow. I've been playing this and loving it, so I want to share. I know RPGs can be hit or miss, but since you like fighters, maybe you'll enjoy. Merry Xmas. Best wishes, Mel. A.K.A. Cosmic Crown. Is this the game where, um... It's an RPG, but when you go into fight mode, it's like a brawler. And yeah, like you have, like, fighting game motions. First time on Steam, but... Based on a PS3 port of the so based on a port, not on the original. Why are you, why are you doing it like that? I don't know. Tales of Symphonia. No, oh, yeah, that, yeah. Like I'm pretty sure we got some people from this game in like Mugen. Like that's how much of a fit it is. Well, thank you, Mel. Uh, oh, then we got another RPG. What? Why? What's the theme? What is going on here? Okay, Nick of Fire is back. Is that like Rao Cow? One of my favorite jerpers, Naughty Laj. Oh boy, Na Naughty Laj Tazi? No, I did not pronounce that correctly. I'm pretty sure. Well, thank you, Mega Fire. I remember a little egg guy. It's like the one thing I know about Live Alive is a little egg robot. The legend is alive. Live alive. Is it Live Alive? Live Alive? Live a Live? Live a Live? What? What's the right one? Originally only released for the Super Famicom in Japan is being revived on Steam. Experience the legendary RPG bot live in the same Oh Oh, so it's remade Octopath Traveler style, is it? Is it? Okay. I mean that is Octopath Traveler style looks really cool. Like there's no way around that. Well check it out, it's Amya. Um, yeah, with the Final Fantasy here, what's going to happen? Don't listen to Andor's lies. I'm Captain Bach from Rosenberg of Dalmasca. Final Fantasy 12 was Square's first attempt at making Final Fantasy an action RPG. Also a weird level up system, but that's like half the Final Fantasies at this point. Uh, enjoy. Bach lives! Amya, um, yeah, 1234. Final Fantasy, yeah, the Zodiac Age. Uh, this revered classic returns, now fully mastered. Yeah, it's a game that's sort of like MMO-ish. Like, it's not an MMO, but it kind of does. It's also the game with a gambit system, where you can just let the game play itself. Which is weird, but I, like, I get it. Like, I would have liked the ability to have, like, basic fights and Paper Mario fight themselves. So, yeah, no, like, it's easy to... I'll, it's easy to make fun of, but there's a reason. Uh, people are just exploiting that Hitler glitch now, huh? This is great. Hey there, Rao Cow. As much as I'd love to watch you play Crusader Kings and dy dynastically conquer the world and everything and everyone inside, trip me, I'm there. I know there is a zero percent chance that you will actually LP map painting game 2020. This, however, is not just a map painting sit back and relax game. Mountain Blade Bannered Lordy is a game where you have the strategy, yes, but it's far more immersive of a game and you actually move troops! It's fun! <laughs> you're, really put, you're, you're really trying to sell here. Kerblam, Alice the Fusion Warrior. Well, I just got back from getting, you know, uh, Zelda in Hat and Time, and now we got Mountain Blade 2. Mountain Blade is a series I sort of know of. Uh, through osmosis because there was a hot time where on SA uh, people like talking about that game so I saw some clips of it and it does look like absolutely fantastic like the fights are like you are in there yeah like there's a map strategy part but for a big chunk of the game you are out there doing things strategy action RPG like the fights are like live create a character engage in diplomacy craft trade and conquer new lands in a vast medieval sandbox his armies to lead into battle and command and fight alongside your troops in massive real-time battles in a deep, intuitive, self-sustainable 
just a whole bunch of video game words, but honestly, sometimes I'd rather have those video game words and actually know what a game is about. So I appreciate it. It's just that it's not as interesting to read, but it's good things to have. Whoa, then we got a second slap from Fusion. Thank you for fostering a community that allowed me to fully embrace my true self. You are a major part of my journey. That cannot be thanked enough. Best wishes, Al is a fusion warrior. <laughs> that name, I believe in capybara supremacy. Just, oh, that is a name. We are the chosen one to take care of capybara, a one-of-a-kind creature that lives on Earth, has the potential to destroy the world when it gets angry. When would a capybara ever get angry? Oh, see, that's why, you know, because we've never seen one angry. Okay, now I get it. I get it now. In order to help it control its anger and prevent the destruction of the world, that's worth a trailer look at. Let's check it out. For what, for what it's worth, when I say that, like, I, I really mean more that, um, I, games that I know what it is and I assume people know what it is, it's like, you know, but for a game that I don't know anything about, the trailer is... Less than 20 seconds long. Well, there's an official announcement trailer. No, I think this is a meme. It's not like the game. Is this the game? It's hard to tell. So that's what the logo looks like. No, that's a different game. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Uh, lots of games about capybaras. Capybaras are really powerful. Alright, I don't know if there is a trailer, like a proper trailer. That's gameplay. I want trailer. Here we go. Trail me up. That cow bar is gonna eat that silhouette of a man. Like, the head is just, like, right there in feeding distance. Yo, check it out! Uh, why does... Alright, you gotta pet it in first person. You get levels. Well, that's a flip. <laughs> I don't... They mo cap real capybara to do this, I'm pretty sure. Like, they mo cap that watermelon to get that watermelon, I'm pretty sure. They mo cap that jump rope system. No, it's true. I made that up, so it's true. <laughs> this is a really silly looking game. Oh, it's got pixel shades. The, the eyes are like sideways, though. It's not gonna... It's not gonna do a good job shading the eyes, but it will do a good job of making it cooler than it already was. So I don't know how much of a serious game this is, but you can offer watermelon and sacrifice, so you know it's a good time. That was weirdly graphic. <laughs> Okay. Do you believe in capybara supremacy? I don't know if I do yet, but I will get the opportunity to test my will. Perhaps one day. <laughs> Thank you, Fusion. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Uh, it's Christmas Eve. Uh, if you're like, you know, this is... Probably people are doing things today, like once we get to the 24th, Eve is almost as important as the day of, depending on the household. So hey, have fun out there, and if you're not, uh, have fun other ways, that's fine, it's possible, it's doable, you can do it, you got it, you got it all figured out.